Welcome back to Wildflowers. We're going to be continuing on from the demo which I played during the Steam Festival. I will put a link in the comments if you missed it and want to catch up with it because uh, it looks like it carries on from your save data since uh, I got 2 hours 36 here which I think is about what I did for my stream. So yeah, that makes sense. So I'm looking forward to continuing the, the adventure. Your last place played this save file 85 days ago wow how time flies a couple of months ago yeah i remember it was good would you like to continue where you left off or start a new one let's continue i feel like it's a waste of time to start again so yeah we'll just continue on so where we were in the game is that our grandma here is like some witch and there's like this crazy like coven witch coven or something and we're just about to get like initiated into their witch cult or something i don't know i have no idea i don't think i've done that much in this game to be honest with you but i'm looking forward to seeing uh what we're doing here so we need to go and speak to farseer to the farseer to begin learning incantation magic Right, gardening, uh, yeah, I remember there was actually quite a lot of, like, machines and things that you could, like, use in this game, and this is all, the, like, the cooking stuff, this is all the fish you can get, so there's quite a lot to do, there's romancing and marriage and all that stuff, so, yes, it's gonna be quite cool. This is the map, just a little recap here, just, just familiarizing myself more than anything, because I haven't played in 85 days, so, so <laughs> a while ago go definitely quite a while ago hello how's it going grandma the altar is where we perform important rituals like turning the season continue with your training honeybee and you'll be prepared when the moment comes you can change the seasons with magic that is actually amazing that's so cool i welcome you to this gathering thank you hello how's it going hey you can call me the Acolyte. It's nice to meet you, but I'm not supposed to speak to you much yet. Oh, you're not? Okay, can you use controller with this game? Oh, you actually can. That's cool. I don't know how well it works, but I'm going to try it. It actually works okay. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Bad Lighting and Great Costumes Club. We meet every night. I like their masks. Where can I get one? They look cool. Um, uh, excuse me, uh, your magicalness high priestess works fine you know oh uh, okay um well high priestess how long has this coven been in fairhaven witches have always been drawn here and because of that the coven has been here for many many generations many many generations huh i see okay then so it have been around for a while how do they keep it a secret all this time <laughs> they must be very good at hiding all right, hello. So this is the Farseer. We can just talk or we can do the quest. Farseer. I'm sorry, what? Name's Farseer. I see. Far. <laughs> like you've got great vision? Visions. Right. Okay. Nice to meet you, Farseer. I love the voice acting in this game. It's really impressive how literally everything is voice acted. Very impressive. All right, Are here we go farseer? with what? the main mission. Yes, yes, Farseer, that's me. No, I'm nearsighted, Farseer. <laughs> you, know, uh, you sound a little bit like... The jokes are terrible. You have no idea who I am? I'm wearing a mask. Listen, do you want to sit here playing guessing games? Or do you want to learn more magic? Magic. Great. I'm going to teach you the art of incantations. Mm, tricky stuff. Mess it up. And there won't be much left of you beyond dust. That sounds a bit dangerous to start with. Only to fool initiates that don't follow instructions. Now, listen closely. Are you ready? I'm ready. Great. 
I need you to chop lots of wood. What? Turn it into paper. Right. You'll need a paper press. Put it in your tool shed. How will this help me with incantations? All will be revealed. Ooh. <laughs> 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 One of us is clearly crazy. I'm beginning to think it's me for listening to you. I love that. This game seems to have like really stupid, silly humor. I think that's really fun. <laughs> the Farsia needs paper for some reason. I mean, to write our incantations down. Clearly, gosh. Wait, I've already got it. I think I've already got it, apparently. Great. Just cool. what we need. Hang on to those and you'll have a use for them in two shakes. Incantations are spells read aloud. They require vast amounts of magic and special ingredients at the time of writing them down and are consumed when read aloud. But they make incredible change to the world. A lot of the most powerful spells are incantations. Whoa. What do I need to do? I like your spirit. The next step is obvious. Time for you to go fishing. Wait, what? Ah, just any old fishing. You'll only catch what you need at the beach, which is south of Thomas's farm. You must catch me some squid. I've had a hankering for calamari for days now. I thought you were teaching me to do these powerful spells. I am the best way I know how. Pay attention. Go get me those squid. You can't teach me powerful magic on an empty stomach after all. Like, geez. Oh, it's Grandma. Hi, Grandma. Do you have some insight for me? Let's you see. You did a great job casting your incantation to get your wand branch. But actually, writing incantations can be a touch trickier. Are you going to teach me? Oh, did I pause it? What happened? Was it my controller? Yes, I gathered that I have a lot. I don't know what that gather. was about. It's not just that. When you write your incantation, you'll need to draw magic from the wellspring to charge it with power. Draw what from where? Didn't you notice the great big cauldron right by the circle? Yeah, but I just figured it was for extra big batches of potions. Oh no. No, no. The coven cauldron is where we leave offerings for the wellspring. The source of all magic here on the island. Our task as a coven is to maintain the wellspring. We cannot draw more energy from it than we put in. I wrote the incantation you read before the Elder Tree, drawing from my magic reserves. But to craft your initiation incantation, you'll need your own. Go on and offer something to the wellspring. Over time, you will learn that it likes some offerings more than others. Try different things and see what happens. Hmm. Okay. So this is going to have limitations on it. Probably not going to be able to like, you know, just spam cast magic. It's going to have limits. Uh, so give an offering to the wellspring. Do I have to give it anything in particular? Can I just give it anything? Okay. I got some random bits and pieces. I'll give it a mushroom. Here you go. I'll donate a mushroom, see if it likes it. Does it like mushroom? Whoa, so now I can cast spells? Cool. Careful. We must never draw more magic from the wellspring than we need. Our offerings keep it in balance. What happens if it falls out of balance? Nothing for you to worry about, my dear. It is all of our responsibility to maintain the cauldron. And we've never failed in my lifetime. Just remember to leave offerings regularly. Okay, I will. Good girl. Now, you'd better get to work on writing your first incantation. What is the wellspring? Task complete! Hooray! Yay! So I have to keep, like, donating stuff to this thing. Okay, it tells you how much, I think, it tells you how much each item would give you oh wow it likes thistles wow it really likes thistles 
Why does the cauldron like thistle so much? Like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> so you can see my bar up in the top left. Um, I think I'm supposed to be going to bed, huh? Can I do this fishing thing or not? Like, I don't know if I, if I'm allowed. <laughs> I don't know, it's getting kind of late. I still got a lot of stamina though, so maybe I can keep going. I don't know. Shall we gather some items? Got some moon flowers over here. Why not? This of course takes stamina to harvest, but that's okay. There's a kitty! Hello! Oh my gosh! Can I pet you? Ah! Oh, look at the head scratches. Ah, oh, you can pet the kitty! Become my familiar! I wonder if you can make it become your familiar. I'll give you a chub. Here! You can feed it too, that's so cool. Ah! Oh, you are adorable! <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, kitty? What a cute little kitty cat! think I'm gonna get ah oh, you can build relationship with the cat as well I wonder if there's different pets around that you can befriend or something I don't know it's curious very curious let's look around to see what we can find so there's a fishing spot up here but we need to go and fish down past Thomas's farm um you're exhausted try to get to bed or you might get sick oh no I passed out I was like miles away from my house <laughs> Was it even possible for me to get back in time? Like, I don't know. It was like midnight when I started playing. Oh, <laughs> I'm not sure. I don't feel so good. Oh no. You're not feeling too good. Go and see Amira for treatment. Oh god. I'm sorry. Oh, have you got treatment for me? Looks like she might. Good morning, dear. I have some medication ready at Amira's clinic. I don't mind getting it myself, but... No, this is exactly the kind of thing I'm here to help with. I'll pick it up instead. Well, that would be a kindness. Um, so I have to go and pick up Hazel's medicine. Apparently, you know, I was actually going to go over there anyway. So that kind of worked out, I guess. Oh, hello. What's going on here? I love her hair. Her hair is awesome. She looks like a lion. She looks cool. Good morning. I've had an inspiration. Uh-oh. When people here get inspired, that somehow always means more work for me. <laughs> you got me. Of course, I know you're busy, what with the farm and taking care of your gram, but I've been looking at old blueprints of the mine, and I think Parker could fix it up for you. Nothing to it but some new wood supports and some stone to build back up the rubble wall entrance. Anyhow, if you do get it fixed up and dig out some good iron ore, I'd be happy to smelt it for you. You're right. That does sound useful. I'll get to it. Ooh, okay. I just need some wood. Collect wood and stone so that Parker can repair the mine. Ooh, that would be cool. I wonder if there's enemies in there or if it's like friendly zone. Mine can now be built from Parker's services. Okay, so I just got to like collect some things. I was growing some things. My camera goes like that. My, uh, my analog does that. I keep pressing it by accident. Let's water the plants here. I have a rusty watering can, which isn't the best, but... I mean, it does the job. Okay, I've got to fill up my watering can. So let's do that. There we go. I can't even remember what I was growing. Obviously carrots. Wheat, carrots. And I guess we'll have to see some kind of flower over here. Very nice. All right. Some kind of, yeah, a lot of flowers and things. Potatoes over this way. Okay, cool. I like completely forgot where I was going, <laughs> but it's okay. All right, what can we plant here? Let's plant some, oh, that's cauliflower. Ah, okay. Let's plant some beans. Yeah, beans could be nice. Plant those up. That'd be nice. Guess we should fill the watering can for the next time we use it, right? Just so then we don't have to do that straight away. So on here, you can make gar uh, garden beds and compost bins. And I forget what this does. Oh, you just collect it and it gives you it gives you stuff daily, I think. Need to put grass in there. I'm just kind of trying to remember everything because it has been a really long time since I played. So trying to remember what I was like doing. <laughs> okay. Oh, what? Oh, you're out of strength. That's probably because I was ill, right? And passed out. So I like lost all my... All my like stamina and stuff, which really sucks. Okay, we're gonna go to the clinic if I can remember where it is. 
I don't think things are marked on the map very well, so you kind of just have to learn by just like going there. So we got the jewelry store, the bakery, flower shop. Okay, like there's no like, I don't, like the map shows you where the buildings are, but I don't know, it just doesn't seem very useful to me, anyways. That's the school. And let's see, there's the carpenter's place. Unless there's another way of looking at the map that I just don't know about. I just don't find that map very helpful. It doesn't mark anything on it. So how am I meant to know? Like, I have no idea. <laughs> no clue. I think we're just going to have to learn by just walking around. Ah, here we go. Here is the clinic. Tara Wild. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm here to pick up some medication. Uh, for my grandmother? Ah, uh, yes. Here it is. It's very sweet of you to run Hazel's errands. Her mobility has decreased markedly this year. But lest you think I only treat Hazel, I want you to know I can help you too. I'm not sick. I mean, I don't I don't think I am. Do I look sick? No, no. You're adjusting to a new job with much more manual labor. Each night that you don't go to bed on time, you lower your immune system's capabilities. Working outdoors in the rain and cold can have the same effect. Eventually, you'll leave yourself open to colds and viruses. And when you come down with something, your energy levels plummet. If that happens, come see me for a restorative. Otherwise, you might pass out. Oh gosh, I would never live that down. Sometimes I have a difficult time sourcing all the ingredients. So you may see requests on the town notice board. Please fulfill them if you can. Seeing patients takes up most of my time. I'll do my best. Okay. So um, I was actually meant to come here for my own as well, my own medicine. <laughs> So please give me some. Please help me. What did I say? Did I say get enough rest? Mm, yes. And did you do that? I might not have. Then from now on, you'll get enough rest. I'm sorry. I got to pay 25 gold. That's not that bad. All right. Task complete. Yay. Am I okay now? Okay. I got full stamina. Now, that is fantastic. So there is a town bulletin board somewhere as well. I don't remember where it was. Oh, I think it's up here. Yeah, this looks like the, the bulletin board, doesn't it? Okay. Let's see. I can do this one and this one. I don't have the stuff for the other ones, but I could turn these ones in. Who do I... I need to go find these people. I think this one goes here. If I recall, so let's give this quest in claim Looky reward. There. You done me a favor the size of a prize winning tuna. You're welcome. All right. Don't think there's anything else I want to do there. I got some relationship points for that as well. Look at the cute little pigeons. <laughs> Bless. Uh, how do I get the menu up again? Okay, like this. I want to check my quests. How do I check my quests? Don't remember. Like this. So I need to go find Sophia. I think she works at the cafe. I think she works at like some kind of diner or cafe or something. I don't know. I have no idea. Hang on. Let's see. Sophia. Let's look at relationships. Sophia, Sophia. I can find her from here. Yes, she does. She works at the cafe. I thought so. I recognized her. I just don't remember where the cafe is. Oh, I think it's here. Oh, okay. Wasn't that bad to find. That's good. All right. I have your item. Here you go. Jeez Louise, Tara. Are you sure? Huh. I didn't think anyone would actually find this for me. I mean, it's just a bunch of mushrooms. <laughs> it's not that bad to find, I tell you. Uh, catch a squid. Give medicine to Hazel. Okay, and I gotta get the stuff for the mines as well. That's fine. It's already five o'clock. I haven't even barely done anything. Where's the time gone? I mean, I think it's because I overslept, wasn't it? Because I like passed out, so I lost like half the day. So now it's like there's just like no time left. <laughs> it's like what is going on here? I don't know. Alright, let's go give this medicine to grandma and then like we'll go from there. Let's see if I can get some wood on the way past. Yeah, let's get some wood on the way past as well. There we go. Chop this down. Beautiful. So, four out of ten wood. So, we're going to go pick this up in a second as well. Alright, so now I'm on nine out of ten. Really close, but 
Still not quite there at the moment. Let's go in. Uh, where is grandma? Are you down here, grandma? Where are you? This is my little cauldron area where I get to make potions, but I don't think I have any recipes at the moment. And so there's more oil and pe pestle and things, but you need the, we need the, uh, you know, we need to get the mines open before we can do any of that. Anyways, I don't know where grandma's gone. She just vacated. She's just gone. <laughs> okay, then. Why not? She may Maybe she's busy or something. All right, there's that. So we can actually do that quest now. So that's good. Got to take the construction supplies to Parker. All right, we can plant um, another one of those. You have to keep grabbing grass and filling up the compost bin to, uh, you know, get get stuff over there to get compost so we've got to keep going with that okay so I need to go I think down this way is it down down this way I think this is Thomas's farm right here and we need to go to the beach and uh, get some kind of squid for the main quest so I'm gonna look into that I can go right here Right, I don't know what bait to use. Should I just use worms? Let's just use worms, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I think she does the fishing by herself. <laughs> She's like singing. Oh, Am I supposed to press anything? I can't remember. Oh, maybe I was supposed oh, yes! to... I'm just supposed to pull. Okay, it's easy. Very easy. All right, what did we get? That is not a squid. A dab. Okay, cool. There is no more... There is nothing more to, to grab here. I guess you just have to keep moving to the next fishing spots, I suppose. Let's try a chub. Let's see if uh, we get anything good from this one. Alright, come on. Hook on, you silly fishies. Is that a lobster? Kind of looks like a lobster. Alright, I got something. Yay. Is it a chub again? A sardine. Alright. Should we try this one? I don't know exactly where's a good place to like go fishing. No idea. I'm gonna try a cricket this time. See if we get anything. How hard is it to catch a squid? Like, I don't know. Oh, we got the little lobster thing. Yay! Or is it a crayfish? Oh no. Oh, that was the squid! Oh, sweet! Well, I got what I need for the main story quest. I wasn't expecting that to be the squid, <laughs> but that's okay. That's good. That's really good. Can we get this? You see that in the corner? Uh, maybe not. I thought maybe I could grab Look it. What's this? Old this? rundown ranch. I hope it gets fixed up one day. Hmm. I hope so too. Oh, I can't wait to see what the animals in this game looks like. I bet they look really, really cute. I just think the art style for this game is really nice. It reminds me so much of like The Sims. Like my sims you know really reminds me of that a lot and i just i really like it i think it looks great some mushrooms here they don't even take stamina to pick these up so that's great actually shall we get a bit more wood you never know when you might need some i think it's gonna be like my stamina more or less gone now though yeah sadly can we pick this up a thistle those are good because you get you get a lot of stuff for those from the magic thing the cauldron the cauldron likes it apparently so it's already getting late so I should probably put my character to bed so I don't want to pass out again so yeah let's go to bed I don't know where grandma is mm, but I'm sleepy I'm gonna go to bed that would be good there you go rest well and don't get ill this time <laughs> she doesn't even get under the covers <laughs> that's just weird aren't you cold I cannot sleep without covers on I don't know just like Weird. I think I'm just so used to it. Just feels weird without it. All right, here's Grandma. I have your medicine for you. Sorry you had to wait like a whole day. I but... visited Amira. This is for you. Here you go. My own medicine courier. I'm the luckiest grandmother on the island. <laughs> of course, Grandma. Anytime. Hooray! Task complete. We got honey lemon tea. We got a nice recipe. Honey lemon tea can now be crafted in your kitchen. Hooray! So we can craft this over here. So we do have a couple of like items that we can craft and I guess you can get stamina back from crafting all these things, but I'm not actually sure how much we can craft here. I can actually craft the restorative tea. So let's craft that. 
Why not? That seems to be good. Can I craft anything else? I can craft fish stew. Um, this symbol can be substituted with different items. I can use different fish if you want to. That's good to know. Okay, it's good that it like kind of lets you know which ones you can you can craft. So that's great. Craft some more of those. Okay, I've got a few dishes now, so maybe that will help me with my stamina issues that I seem to be having recently. But uh, yeah, I well, guess we'll see, I guess. All right, there we go. Time to water all the plants and everything. How is the compost doing? Okay, it takes a while to uh, generate compost, but that's okay. All right, water this one up as well. Beautiful. All righty. Let's make sure we keep up with the farm work. Just going to fill this up and then I'm going to go see what we can do quest-wise. I think that would be great. So... Uh, yeah, we can do... Let's go and open the mines, actually. I think that would be really good. Do you see that little hummingbird? It's kind of cute. I like it. Very nice. So I'm just going to follow the pathway straight across. I think it was in here. Wait, when do you open? Uh, let's see. It's not open until 9am, Monday to Wednesday. Friday to Saturday, 9am to 5pm. So they do open. I just have to wait till nine hey they opened early nice hello i have the thing for you hello again hi you know you don't see many blacksmiths these days yeah i know well my great grandpa was a blacksmith so i guess you could say it runs in the family of course he died before i was born but it's his hammer i've got that's really cool so your family taught you? Oh, nah. I'm self-taught. A city export like yourself. It's harder work than sitting at a desk, but it's more rewarding. You'll come to love it here. I'll see. That was a nice conversation. I guess you can only do one conversation a day. And it also gives you, like, uh, relationship points too. So that's cool. Can I do my request now? Like, I, I got the stuff. I don't know why. Uh, I thought I was supposed to go here. To Parker? Who's Parker? I don't even know. Alright, hold on. I gotta find out who Parker is. I thought I was meant to go here. Parker is this dude. Uh, it looks like there's a different, a different place that I'm supposed to go. This is the blacksmith. I'm supposed to go to the carpenters. So I think I went to the wrong place. <laughs> I will, I will learn as I go. It's, I literally don't know where anything is in this game. So <laughs> I'll just have to just kind of you know, explore around and see what I can find. I don't think I can make my character run any faster, can I? Oh, here. This is the carpenter place. All right. Hello, this is Parker. How are you doing? Uh, let's talk to him first. Hey, Parker. Quick question. Did the mayor make you play a game to meet everyone when you first moved here? Well, Otto wasn't mayor back then. It was Violet's dad, Antonio Miranda, and... No, I don't think he asked me to do that. It might have been useful, come to think about it. Some folks are harder to get to know than others. Hmm. You know, I think it's useful because now we've met like most of the villagers and stuff. Though I remember it being a pain to find everyone because they all have different schedules and stuff. But yeah, I've done the quest. Let's make the, the mine. Oh wow, there's all different things here. So we got a tool shed. An upgrade to your existing tool shed that triples the space. Ooh, you'll need to clear an area on your farm before I can start work. Oh gosh, that's a lot of wood. Okay, I'll have to make sure to get lots of wood. A larger area for you to fill with garden beds? Grow crazy. So you need quite a lot of resources for that as well. Okay, and the mine. Okay. It should only take a day or so. All right, wait for Pastor Parker even to finish repairing the mine. So I just got to wait one day for that but that's um that's on the go it's on on the mend so that's great can i pick this up is that can you catch bugs in this game i keep seeing bugs everywhere um hello cameron have i met you before i don't think i have you're a recent arrival right did Otto have you play that meet everyone game <laughs> he sure did but i found it a good opportunity to introduce myself and the league's mission to the town before I knew it, I had four new members. Why is she so obsessed with this, like, meet everyone game? Hey, leave me alone. I'm trying to click on the little peanut. 
<laughs> I want the peanut. <laughs> All right, there you go. Why is there a random peanut on the floor as well? And it's massive. I have never seen a peanut that big. It just looks huge. <laughs> That's crazy. Craziness. It'd be cool if they made peanuts that big. Maybe they do. I just haven't seen them. Perhaps. I don't know. Let's collect all the goodies. It's just like free stuff. It's great. I don't even need stamina to pick it up. It's awesome. All right. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the coven right now because it might only be there at nighttime. Like, are they there during the day? Nah, it's a nighttime thing. So I guess I'll have to like come back like later or something. Just going to have a little explore though. See if there's like anything around here. Is there anything? Maybe not. Okay, we'll have to come back later on. It's far too early right now, unfortunately, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, I just gotta wait for that one. I guess I'm just gonna do whatever I wanna do now until nighttime, because, like, I don't know. There's not really a whole bunch of things to do. Maybe I'll do some, like, requests on the notice board, get some money or something. I'm not really sure. I know I need, like, 50 lumber or something. How much stamina would this take to destroy? Probably quite a bit, right? All right. Nice, nice. Little bug there. See a little bug, a little cricket? How do I get the cricket? I don't think I've got net, a net, right? I don't think I do. Pretty sure I don't. I got a watering can, an axe, a fishing rod, and a wand. So I'm thinking that's something that I just like don't have access to. I think this bait came from the tackle shop. I think you can buy bait and I think that must have been what I did or maybe I got some for free. I don't really remember. It was a while ago. All right. Wow. That is a very purple looking fish. Black crappy. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> that name though. <laughs> oh no. Okay. That didn't look what like what I picked up though. I picked up this purple thing and it looked nothing like it so that's kind of weird I guess it just like doesn't look the same as what you know she picks up from the water which is kind of weird but okay all right let's do a bit more fishing it's just gonna grab one more fish or something why not let's see what we can get come on there we go we gotcha what is it this time let's find out catfish very nice very nice indeed. Okay, I think I'm going to go head back to the town and we're going to see if there's anything we can grab from the notice board. I think that would be really nice, actually. Time does go kind of slow when you're waiting for something. I have to say, like, I don't know if that's going to get, like, to be a pain in the butt. I guess we'll have to see, though. All right, there we go. Nice bit of wood there. Very cool. Got a mandrake. Very cool. All right. Let's see. Hello. I'm going to talk to some st school kids today. There's only one relationship with these kids, apparently. Hey, so my mom says your grandma's sick, and that's why you came here. Yeah, I came back to take care of her. That's nice. I visited my Nona in Italy when she got sick, too. Well, technically, she was my dad's Nona. I'm sure she was really happy to see you. I don't really know. I don't speak Italian, so I didn't know what anybody said. At least you and Hazel speak the same language. That's a good point. Oh, that's a little sad. I love the purple streak going through her hair. She's kind of trendy for a kid, I have to say. <laughs> I can't imagine dyeing my hair, like, when I was a kid. I just, like, wouldn't have been something that... I, I would have done or even crossed my mind to be honest with you but it's cool maybe it's one of those fake ones that you just kind of like put in and it washes out I don't know hello you have a quest for me what's up oh man she looks angry hi Sophia good Shabbos Tara have you seen Juliet she was going to help me but I can't find her and I'm running out of time we are not going to abandon all our family traditions because Giacomo is gone Okay. Can I help? Yeah, I'll do it. I agree, Sophia. Family traditions are important. Let me help until Juliet arrives. Oh, that would be amazing. I I'm almost done. Just one or two more things to finish. Hey, Mom. Sorry I'm late. There you are. Well, I'm glad you made it back in time. 
Luckily for you, I had Tara to keep me company while I waited. Tara, will you join us? Oh, no thanks. I should get back to the farm. Good night. I wonder if that pops up because I, you know, spoke to her daughter and got a bit of, like, relationship with her. Maybe. I don't know. But apparently I'm now acquaintances with Sophia. So that's great. Oh, I went up a heart. Oh, well, that's good. Apparently she's closed now. <laughs> she closed up her store. Maybe it's the time. It is 4pm, actually. So time's getting on a little bit, I suppose. Looks like the Big Ben in the centre of town. Well, it's a bit smaller, I guess, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Kind of reminded me of it anyways. Is there anything? I think you can collect shells on the beach over to the left. So I might go over there and pick those up. So I might be able to, like, I don't know, make money off of them or just, like, something. I don't know. We'll have to see. But I think it could be a good idea. I love seeing everybody just, like, going into the houses for the day and stuff. Can I pick this up? How come I can't seem to take that? Ah, there you go. I got a coconut. I just like kept looking onto the the fishing by my by mistake, I guess. All right, let's pick up all these seashells and bits and pieces. It's free stuff, so why wouldn't you take it with you, right? So there we go. Very nice. Looks like there's some kind of flower or something up here. That looks like a nice flower as well. Take it. A witch weed. Just in case, you know. Might need it for something. Alright, cool. So, it's six o'clock now. I still have a little bit of time to go before we're able to do anything. Maybe I should just, like, I don't know, interact with townspeople. If there are any about. So it's kind of getting, getting on now. But stamina is getting low as well. Um, I don't think I can, like, do any other quests. So, we're mostly just waiting for it to get dark so I can do this witchy thing i don't know what time they like actually show i'm gonna head over there now because it might they might show up like you know like now maybe because it is like seven o'clock right now so i would imagine they'll be there now right um hopefully i don't have to wait till like midnight or something so that would be crazy i do wish the character moved a bit faster or there was some kind of like, I don't know, quick way to get across the the map because it does take a while to, to walk, even though she looks like she's having a kind of fast jog. It takes a little bit. All right, let me give you a little Aww. stroke, kitty. Ah, bless you. You're adorable. There we go. Got a tiny bit of relationship there. It's not much, but it's something. So that's awesome. All right, here we go. Ah, now everybody is here again, which is great. So let's give the squid to the farseer. Hopefully he likes it. I think he's just hungry, right? Here you go. Oh, oh, oh. Look at those beautiful squid. Good work, novice. So, when you finish your lunch, can we get back to incantations? No, no, these aren't for lunch. You need to make some nice black ink and squid ink is the best uh, you could have said so i just did now you'll need a desk set it up in your sanctum ah that's your basement you wouldn't want anyone to happen on your half-written incantations once you've got your ink there's a couple more things you'll need come back here and i'll give them to you okay now the farseer says to build a desk in your sanctum okay <laughs> they do have a lot of requests, but you know, we have to put the work in if we want to be a great witch. Desk can now be constructed in your basement. Okay, it looks kind of cute and cozy, I have to say, but I'm glad that that one's kind of done because it's kind of annoying having to wait like that late. This is quite late that you have to wait for, right? So yeah, I'm glad we don't have to do that anymore. Let's head home then and I'll check what you need but you probably need quite a bit of wood i'm assuming right since we're making a desk it would make sense so we're gonna have this cute little desk that we can make little spells on i wonder what kind of spells you can get in this game i know they mentioned changing the season but 
I wonder if there are any other like quality of life things you can do with spells. It seems like a really interesting concept and I'm really looking forward to seeing how that integrates into farming and how it can actually like help you. Maybe you can make your plants grow faster with magic. That would be kind of cool actually. I wouldn't mind that. <laughs> then we wouldn't have to wait so long because sometimes they do take a little bit to to wait for so yeah that'd be kind of cool actually um in my basement i don't think it's this one is it i don't know this is my paper press and over here you can create some more things but i don't have the stuff for it we need the mines for all of this so, so i could only do the paper press at the moment but that's fine all right so into the basement let's go down here and see about making this desk so here it is Oh, I can make it right now. That's great. Where do I want to put it? I think I want to put it right here. That looks good. I like that. Okay, so we got the incantations. We can make the black ink here. Very nice. So now that's done. Now I have to go all the way back to the farseer and tell him that I've made the, the desk. <laughs> what a pain in the butt. We might as well like do it now and get it done. So then like we don't have to worry about waiting until then tomorrow <laughs> oh my god it's like all that way and then all the way back <laughs> it's just painful you know like why why can't he just come to my door or something <laughs> it's just like gosh i just have to run all the way back i hope that i managed to make it back in time without collapsing since it's like quite late now uh, am i going the right way i'm going the right way it's down this way i think past the carpenter's house that's okay. All right, go, 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 girl. She's going to work out today. Poor girl. <laughs> but she's exhausted. All right, let's go see what the farseer has to say. Do you think that cat is there just like constantly every day? I wonder. All right, I am ready to go and see what this dude says, Mr. Farseer. All right, yeah, I know it's getting late. I'll try and be quick. Okay, I have arrived. All right. I think I've walked you through the tricky bits. This here will explain the extra bits you need. Once you have them, go and write it at your newly made desk. Technically, this isn't an incantation. This is just a piece of paper with some mumbo jumbo on it. Well, then what's the difference? When you go home and write this on your freshly pressed paper, hold the authoring in your other hand. That's your thistle. You must concentrate on every word as you write it. You'll know it's working if, as you finish, the offering has vanished and you feel some of your magic is drained away. Then, the page you've created will be an incantation. You should take it to the High Priestess when it's ready. What does this incantation do? That's not for me to discuss. You're not going to tell me? How mysterious. What if it like turns me into a frog or something? <laughs> I'm sure it won't do that, but you never know. Use your desk to create the incantation. Right. Okay. And I have to like come all the way back over here and speak to the priestess once I've done it. So I'm probably not going to, yeah, get that far. At least not tonight anyways, because my character is probably going to pass out by the time I get home. I don't think I'm going to make it, if I'm being honest. What time do you actually pass out? Is it one or two? So I didn't actually pay attention the last time I passed out, so it'd be good to know. So I'm going to keep an eye on that and just kind of, like, see, actually. But I'm hoping it's not one. Okay, it must be two. Okay, Grandma is slowly walking home as well. I'm going to beat you, Grandma. <laughs> Grandma's gonna fall asleep. Grandma's gonna collapse. She's not gonna get home before two, I'm telling you. <laughs> I reckon it's two, though. I don't even know if I'm gonna get home by then. Oh, God, it's gonna be cutting it close, I think. Go, 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 go. Go. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, this probably wasn't such a good idea. I think I'm just gonna make it. Am I ready for bed? Yes, you are. Whew, what a day. We managed to get quite a few things done today. The mines should be opening today as well. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. I'm really looking forward to seeing what the mines are like in this game. And if there's any combat, I kind of hope that there is. Maybe we can do some combat with our wand or something. Hello. Did Parker stopped by on his way out to let me know the mine was finished. Let's go check it out. Well, right now? Okay. Wow, 
Oh, oh, it's looking great. Do you know what that means? I need builder's insurance. <laughs> Silly, you can go mining. Yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of implied. <laughs> Here, you'll need this to get started. A pickaxe is a handy tool to have around. You can break up rocks to gather some stone and also mine lots of lovely ore now that this place is fixed up. Now take it in and get cracking. But it's dark and and there's probably bugs. You'll want to focus on cracking open the mineral rocks to find ore. Bring me back some iron ore and I can turn it into iron for you. I love how she oh, just totally I ignored forget, her. You'll need to keep your eyes peeled for the keys to get further into the mine. Some clever fellow has scattered them about. They're probably buried under fallen rocks by now. But there's lots of great stuff in the mine, so it's worth it. Have fun exploring. Oh, I'm sure I will. Yay. <laughs> the enthusiasm. <laughs> okay, task complete. You've been rewarded with a metal working table and glass kiln these are recipes so i still gotta like craft them so i gotta go and get natalia some iron ore as well okay okay that's cool so this is what the mines look like very cool okay so i have to find keys apparently as well doesn't look like there's any combat but maybe it's further like into the mines or something i'm not too sure i have no idea all right, let's try mining. So I found some sand. All right. Cool. Let's see what we got here. How many hits does this one take? Oh, God. Gonna be there all night. What do we get? Some stones, apparently. So I need to find keys. I Set guess I'll need some kind of digging tool. They said it was under fallen rocks. I need to find the key to this door. Maybe it's around here somewhere. Hmm... Okay then, how mysterious. How very mysterious. I think we'll stop here for today though and we'll continue on next time. We'll explore these mines a little bit more thoroughly in the next episode. I think that would be pretty cool actually. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons and members for supporting the channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. I also have a dedicated live streaming channel that you can find in the description box below or on my channel homepage. I regularly live stream over on that channel. And it'd be super cool if you, stop, if you could stop by sometime and say hello. I would really love that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see you next time.